okay. Hi. Hello. This is Tales from the Shed. I am Anne. And I'm Alison. And Alison has wants to talk about wintering. It's quite interesting talking about wintering in the middle of summer. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it was just, I read a book and I'm actually, I can't remember who wrote it, you see, great, but I will actually put the link, I'll put the link in, 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 you know, on the page. And it was just the fact that the author was writing about this concept of wintering, it's quite a positive thing. Okay. So, and actually saying that life is a series of cycles. Right. And it kind of goes through cycles like this. It's not that you get everything sorted, and then it's fine and you don't have to worry. Now That's I would because otherwise I would have failed. Yes. Well I would okay. well I was kind of saying, you know, that I actually think like we kind of I think we're going through that process at the moment in regard to everything that's happening. It feels like people want there to be something that's right and then it's sorted. But they they don't forever. like a lot of people don't like change. No. So they want to get everything ready and then let's just bottle it at this moment. Yeah, and we'd like to, we've got to fight, we have, and so this is why I think we're continually looking for something that's going to solve it, whatever that might be, whatever that issue is in terms of like that, what is it that's going to solve whatever that's going through at the moment, then it's, it's all going to be fine. Okay. And then the cons, you know, so what I quite like is this whole thing, and she was putting forward this concept of wintering as a kind of a bit like, you know, when a field, when you leave a field fallow, mm -hmm. she was actually saying it's really a, a good concept to think about wintering as a, a time of drawing into yourself, of kind of could be doing nothing and just rejuvenating that whole thing. It's a bit like when you have that empty field, but you know that, you know, it's because all the seeds are down below and in spring, they're all going to spring up. So it's that kind of concept because I think that we often have it that we have to be doing something. But don't you think this is a real reflection of how we have drifted away from nature? Like nature has this amazing capacity to survive. Mm. And even if something comes and wipes it out, um, you know, I, I can remember that a lot of Kent forests got wiped out in the, in the terrible hurricanes that yeah. we had. And we kind of leave it and it kind of regenerates and grows mm. but we've kind of lost that natural connection mm. which means we have to kind of move away from it but like you say when you move back into nature and the flow of nature it's what it does because when you look at animals hibernate very often yeah plants I wish we could, I <laughs> plants really hibernate yeah. they don't grow but they're not doing nothing no. but nothing is Happening. So there's a lot of growth happening by sleep, by calm, by rest, by mm. withdrawing, isn't it? Yeah. And I kind of think that there is a whole load of things that's been going on over the last couple of years where people said, I've got all this time, you should learn to play the guitar or Spanish or whatever it is. Yeah. And, or you should you should Achieve. go and meditate, or you should so you should do something with this time. And actually maybe we don't need to do it's funny anything. how we we put something, especially meditate, they, they call it the Western 20 minutes, I think. Oh, right. But you must meditate for 20, 20 minutes, otherwise it's, it's whatever. So we even take this lovely spiritual practice and make it into a job. Mm. You know, I, I've seen people that uh, say we some lovely ideas like the artist's way or journaling. Mm. And so they get up every day, they do half an hour's automatic writing in order to get their life sorted. And you think, no, 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 the point was mm. we step back. Mm. And I, I think you're right. I think we don't do enough stepping back. Mm. And I would do this in yoga that I mm. follow yeah. the, the patterns. And in summer, it's almost doing nothing but watching everything bud. Right. Because that's what happens. The tree, if you if you leave your garden for two weeks, you come back, it's it's overgrown. Mm. But we shouldn't keep working ourselves in summer. We mm. should be naturally blossoming. We've done the work in the wind, in the spring. Yeah. So we watch the fruits of it. Yeah. Then we prep in the autumn, and then we let that prep sit. So are you saying we need to be doing autumning in order mm. to get the most out of our winter? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of think that it's just that thing of it's a cycle it's a process it's I mean, a process it's a process it's not well we know where where what the end is but actually until we get there 
it's, it's always a growth. process it's always growth until it yeah. yeah so perhaps we should be doing a little bit of we might do this where we go through the things that will be really useful for getting ready for wintering Ooh. so maybe in we should be looking at autumning as well right which might be visualization what we want to do because what we want to do with this time that we've got mm. that whatever we invest in autumn winter will grow it or prepare it yeah and it's it is that amazing thing that wintering is a way of actually gathering, gathering. our resources and taking stock mm. so yeah so maybe autumning is about assembling things you know like you say you talk about autumn as a time of planning Mm. you know what are we going to grow what's going on things like that so it may be that we have some of that maybe going for a walk maybe thinking about that yeah you know going for a 10 minute walk and just thinking so if i'm preparing to winter what do i need to get in you know lots of ice cream or something lots of ice cream chocolate you know yeah yep. Book, booking your box sets yeah that's right or it might just be living in the power of now rather than mm. doing lots of things yeah so, I think we'll perhaps we'll investigate this and have a look at that. So yeah, what we'll come space, back to we might come back to how we are autuming and see how that works. Fantastic.